A and AS level mathematics. Lesson 24 and this is calculus part 2 more differentiation. So we're looking at more differentiation. Before I start let's just look at a bit more jargon. If we have an equation and we differentiate it 4 5 to 20 drop that by 1 power we've also appreciated that it can be written a different way and be written as a function so when we differentiate this function we get the derived function we write as f dash equals but something else is the rate of change. This is the equation of the graph. So in other words, if we've got an x coordinate, we substitute it in there to find the y coordinate. This is the equation of the gradient, the gradient function, the gradient function. So if we substitute an x value into there, we're finding the gradient of the tangent to this graph at the point of the x value we substitute in. But the gradient on a graph can also be called the rate of change. The other thing I need to mention, I think, is the equation doesn't have to be x and y. It could be any two letters. And when we do equations with distance, we'll find that S is the letter that's used for distance. So if we differentiate this equation, we'll get ds dt. When we differentiated this equation, we got dy dx. If we differentiate this equation, we get ds dt. Two threes are six. Drop that down by one power. There's a one there. Once four is four, drop that down by one power. And in fact, this is 7 times 1, which can be written as 7t to the power of naught. So if you multiply the power by the coefficient, we'll actually get naught. And we should appreciate that anything to the power of naught is 1. So this actually says 4 1s are 4. So when we differentiate this equation, you could just say the t disappears and the number does as well but I hope I've explained here what really happens but the other thing I wanted to mention is the rate of change we say that this is the rate of change of s with respect to t and if this was distance and time this would be the rate of change of distance with respect to time now all the things I've mentioned here, I will be mentioning again. But let's look at this more differentiation. So we're just going to look at some questions, some practice in differentiation. So here's an equation of y equals, if we differentiate it we get dy dx. 4, 6 to 24, drop that down by 1 power. 2, 5 to 10, drop that down by 1 power. So it becomes a 1. And once it's a little one, we need to bother to write it. Let's differentiate this. Now, as I said just now, we could think of it as when you differentiate something like this, the x just disappears. And when you differentiate a number, it just disappears. You'll get it marked right. But I think it's better to appreciate that this question could be written as 7x to the power 1 plus... 10x to the power naught because anything to the power naught is 1 so this is actually saying 10 ones so this is in fact the same equation and looking at this differentiated once 7 is 7 drop that down by 1 power it becomes a naught and if you multiply this power by this coefficient 10 times nothing is nothing so it is nothing. It's not that it disappears, it's that it works out to be nothing. 
and if we appreciate that anything to the power naught is 1, this is actually saying 7 1's, so that is the result. But it's not that the x disappears and the number disappears, but if that's the way you want to think about it, fair enough. Let's differentiate this equation. y equals, so dy dx equals 4 9's of 36 and drop that down by one power. 2 6 to 12 and drop that down by one power. So it become a 1 I won't bother to write it. OK, let's say it. And the x disappears and so does the number. So now we're writing the question in the function way. The function of x is x raised to the power of 3 quarters. Find f dash of x f dash of x means find the derived function. In other words, let's differentiate it. 3 quarters multiplied by the numbers in front, and appreciate there is a 1 there, so 3 quarters times 1 is 3 quarters. And then if we drop 3 quarters by 1, in other words 3 quarters subtract 1, you'll get minus a quarter. Appreciate that this could be written another way as an answer. It could be useful to know this. That raising to the negative power could be written at the bottom and become a positive power. That bit of manipulation could be useful to appreciate. Although the answer is no more correct than it was there. Function of x is x raised to the power of two thirds. Therefore the derived function, in other words f dash of x, is 2 thirds times the 1 is 2 thirds. And drop this by 1 power. 2 thirds subtract 1 is minus a third. We'll do it again. And the answer could be written like that. No more correct, but it's useful to appreciate. Now sometimes, before you can work out a differentiation, you have to rewrite the question. So in this case, case the question is saying y equals 1 over x cubed. And before you can differentiate it, you have to rewrite it as y equals x to the power of minus 3. In other words, we put the x cubed at the top and it becomes a negative power. Then we can differentiate it. But we can't differentiate it till we've rewritten the question. So this is still the same question. Minus 3 times the 1 that's in front there, and then drop that down, down by 1 power. Again, although this is perfectly correct, it might be worth appreciating that the answer could be written like this. This one? Got to rewrite the question. Need to appreciate that there's a little 1 there, which doesn't need to be written. However... If we're going to rewrite this, then we need to appreciate that the 1 becomes a minus 1. So it's a nice simple question that a lot of people can't do because they don't start off by rewriting it. Once you've rewritten it, then you can differentiate it. dy dx equals minus 1 times the 1 that's there. Drop that down by 1 power. You can leave the answer like that. You don't have to write it like this, but I'll say it again. I think it's useful to appreciate that the answer could be written like that, even though that's perfectly correct. Let's look at another case, or a couple of cases, where you have to rewrite the question. 